He's a last-minute replacement, but James Tedesco has brought in a skill set that few other players possess. The former skipper, a dominant voice at his first training session ahead of Wednesday's Origin Opener. James Tedesco is back and it's like he never left. Can you feel Teddy's presence and leadership and the aura that he brings? Yeah, certainly. I think not just myself, I think the whole team can feel that. He's talking. Obviously, you need to be a good talker from the back, but um, yeah, he's been in every environment. He's played at the highest stage, and I feel you can just you can feel that experience there. Despite initially being axed for the series opener, Tedesco hasn't been shy in team meetings. The fullback showing why he's played 22 Origins in a row. He's captain Australia, captain New South Wales, club, captain um, Clubland, had success all over the park. So yeah, look, he's exactly how you'd expect him. He's come in all class. I've obviously had meetings that sort of stuff like we normally would, and. Um, he's been yeah, pretty vocal in those too, obviously just trying to wrap his head around it all and that sort of stuff, but um, yep, the roller coaster. Dylan Edwards is still in camp with the Blues, the injured fullback watching on at training this morning. Credit to Madge and credit to Dylan as a person. It probably would have been easy to go and just hide away at home there for a couple of days, but still fronting up, still doing his job for the team. So I think that's the kind of person he is. So the Blues are actually staying at the same hotel as the Matildas here at Sydney Olympic Park. And tonight they'll head across the road to a core stadium to see the Aussies in action. Looking forward to obviously just as a group, just staying together and just enjoying each other's company, but um, apparently it's, it's sold out over there too, so uh, I think it'd be a good, good thing for the boys, that, particularly the debutants, to, to go out and experience what it feels like to have a, a packed out McCall Stadium, so yeah, looking forward to it. Emma Lawrence, Nine News. He was an Origin selection afterthought in the lead up to the series, but Jerome Luai is fast emerging as the key blue. The Panthers playmaker says he can lead New South Wales into battle against Queensland and has taken a cheeky swipe at his club coach, Ivan Cleary, along the way. In all the bluster around the Blues, the storyline that's been underplayed is the return of Jerome Luai. Dropped and written off as an Origin player after Game 2 last year, he's suddenly a team leader. Did it hurt a lot when you got dropped from this team? Didn't hurt, man. Um, I don't want to say I, I felt it coming, but you know, um, once series series losses uh, start to come, then you sort of feel like it's someone else's turn. But uh, coming into this year, it was always a goal of mine to get back in this jersey. Jerome won't admit it hurt, but the fire is there. I'm so motivated and you know, passionate about getting it right. He's been made a leader by Michael Maguire and he knows he can run the team if required. Running a team, you've shown you can do it. There were some doubts you couldn't. Yeah, there, there, there are always going to be doubts from, from critics and, and things like that, but that's outside noise for myself. Even Ivan said it though, remember? He was having a crack. What was that? Ivan said, oh, I don't know if you can run a team, you know? Yeah. I was trying to keep you. Hopefully I've answered that for him. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I've always known I've, I've been capable of, of that. And Jerome is doing it without the music. <laughs> The boombox, so often criticised by outsiders, has been nowhere to be seen. Where's the music? Ah, it's time to talk, man. It's just time to tell our community and, and the people of New South Wales uh, how much this means to us and, and what we're willing to do come game day. Um, put it on pause, but we'll put it on play again soon. <laughs> <laughs> Madge hasn't banned it, has he? hasn't said no music. Nah, Madge is, is big on culture. And so are Jerome and his bestie in the Blues side, Brian To'o. They've started their own clothing label, Universe 7. Out of our sort of comfort zone, but it's been uh, a good time for us. And um, yeah, make sure you guys jump on and, and buy a shirt. I've got to get you a shirt, bro. <laughs> Would it suit me? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. You're the OG, brother. You're OG. <laughs> Danny Weidler, Nine News. James Tedesco's return to Origin Arena is even been celebrated north of the border. Skipper Daly Cherry Evans, happy to see his Kangaroos teammate back on the big stage. He's going to do a great job for him. We're certainly not going to under underestimate him or any of the New South Wales players. So um, I guess it just adds to the theatre of origin. And Queensland touchdown in Sydney this evening ahead of Wednesday night's match. And like the Blues, we'll train at a core stadium tomorrow.